The longer I've been bombarded on social media with these Celine bags, um, the more I see them, the more I kind of like like them. I guess that's, uh, you know, the magic of social media. I actually got some uh, secret news. They're actually going to come out with this bag in a larger size as well. But do I want the sardine? Do I want the DJ? Do I want both? Again, let me know. Sardine? Team. Sardine? Team. Uh, besides that, I really love Gucci furniture as well. I could see myself sitting on this chair in our new house. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go for maximalism, I think. Hi everyone, so... <laughs> We're in the new house and I still cannot believe it. It's our absolute dream house and it kind of makes sense now that the other house sales kind of fell through. Um, so that we did end up here and I couldn't be any happier. It's calm, it's peaceful, it's, you know, the sun is shining right now. It's everything I could have ever dreamt of and I, I honestly mean that. So I've recovered well from my operation as well and everything seems to be going okay. And I felt like, you know what, summer is coming, you know, summer's just around the corner. I'm going to go to Germany soon because my reunion, my high school reunion is coming up. And I just, you know, I was in the mood to buy a new bag. So I would say <laughs> today's plan is to just go and have fun and buy a new bag and uh, also do our hair, by the way. I need to get my extensions uh, exchanged. And by the way, guys, we are in my future dressing room right now. So it's totally empty, <laughs> but this is gonna be the space and I'm gonna keep you updated how I'm gonna transform it all and you know, the before and after, the magic. And uh, yeah, let's go. Oh, guys, I can already feel that summer is coming. Okay guys, we are at Green Park and I really cannot believe how beautiful this day is. So, we a little coffee. Um, I would say let's go to Carrots first. And we are here, let's go in. Some new Fendi pieces guys, the baguettes. <laughs> what do we think of these? Um, let's say the name of the bag. Uh, at the front. Oh, it's not my favorite style, I think. Look at these colors. Um, they're really like neon. They definitely pop. I'm good, I'm good. This is so cute. Yeah, they're adorable. So uh, nano. Yeah, and this is Python, right? Yes. It's gorgeous. Yeah, but the, the small one is oh adorable. So the longer I've been bombarded on social media with these Celine bags, um, the more I see them, the more I kind of like like them. I guess that's uh, you know the magic of social media. But I don't know. They do look cool, don't they? Especially this one. Um, I just wonder if in a couple of years, you know. We look at this and it has the same effect on us as the boy bag nowadays. I mean, I still love my boy bag, like don't get me wrong. But I feel like it might be like a similar kind of story with these Celine bags. And there we have the classic one. Hmm. Here guys, so I don't know if this is real Python or if it's just printed on, but it looks pretty cool. Oh, that's kind of cool as well. Classic white. What do we think about this? Seen these totes um, online from Celine as well. And I think they're pretty cool. They're very understated. I think they are a perfect option for like a work tote if you want to have like a designer bag, but you want to be really like quiet luxury. Okay, so Hermes. Let's see what they currently got on a display. Oh, beautiful color. There we have a lizard one and ready for the eye eye candy. <laughs> There we have a Birkin 25 Serie and a Birkin 25, the classical um, version. Wow, look at this beautiful shade of mint green. It's a very subtle one. And oh wow, dark green. I don't know, maybe it looks black on my phone currently, but I can tell you guys it's a very dark green and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah. 
that's what they've got on display currently. Hello, so that's what I came for, <laughs> Bottega. I'm just so much in love with my current Bottega bag. Actually, there's a mirror right here, hi. <laughs> can give you a quick OOTD. I'm um, just very casual today, you know, but I love this bag so much and I love my pouches so much as well. I, I think I want to get another, like, number four, my fourth Bottega bag. Um, not quite sure yet. What do we think about the sardine bag? I think it's awesome. The longer I look at it, I tried it on a couple times now, the more I like it. But guys, I don't know if I want the um, Teen Jody in the suede, in the grey suede, or if I should go for something like this. It's another new model um, from Bottega Veneta. I like it, you know? I mean, you cannot go wrong with the classic Intrachato leather anyway. And then this beautiful golden detail. Oh, Stunning. Chico Chico Chi. I really like these spring colors for sure. Sorry. Um, it's gorgeous, but guys, I mean, I don't like orange, but for anybody who loves bright neon colors, you know. <laughs> I would check out here, out. guys. So this bag is new. Um, what was it called? I've forgotten the name of it now. I saw it online. Um, don't think it makes my heart sing. Let me know if you like this new design. Um, but yeah, let's see what they have. Wow. Okay, let's just look at the highlight pieces, I think. This is gorgeous, the embroidery on it. I really like this one too, even though normally I'm not the biggest fan of the Lady Dior Light, but I think because it's got flowers and we know I'm a sucker for flowers, yeah, I like it. Can we just take a moment to look at these shoes? Yeah, that one is definitely new. <laughs> I haven't seen it before. Do we like it? The elephant, the tiger, the peacock. I love this hot pink. That's pretty cool. And guys, they have it here as well in the shoes and in that lady dior exotic guys and this color is mesmerizing i hope you can see it it's absolutely gorgeous and then they have so many beautiful exotics here look at this large lady dior and i'm just gonna show you everything quickly let me know if anything catches your eye i really love this one like a mermaid color so this is another new model um, from Dior again I've forgotten the name of the pack <laughs> sorry <laughs> but I would prefer this one over the other one that we've seen first so I just can you tell me how much it is yes, of course okay perfect yeah let me just get a quick what is it is it just beads these are all stress oh stress. stress okay so this, perfect. you have a mixture of stress yeah. and uh, embroideries okay. together perfect. so if you go closer you would have the stresses oh yeah uh, hooked on to a metal okay pack. guys here this is the tiny little bag that caught my eye i really like it um every stone is basically um set individually can you see that either it's soon in or it's in like a cage um absolutely gorgeous and some Louis Vuitton icon you guys they still have the Kusama decoration up that's the main artwork pretty out there <laughs> definitely this is catching your eye low beauty this one is still on my wish list the uh, mini um, capucine in the galet color with the python handle but look at this this is more of a beige warmer color the galet is a little bit colder but you have this iridescent python stunning Et voila here we have some of the kusama pieces that i haven't seen uh, up close yet um, actually you know i'm not the biggest fan but this one is quite cool I think the on the go in black with the pink dots and we have this little pumpkin there. The sardine bag in the large size or the mini size. I mean this one would hold quite a decent amount I think. This one is just an accessory. Hey okay, guys, so here is the medium size sardine bag. I actually got some uh, secret news. They're actually gonna come out with this bag in a larger size as well. Because we know about this one, that was the original. Then they brought out the tiny one that I've just shown you and they're gonna come out with an even larger one. I wonder how heavy the larger one is gonna be, you know, in terms of the handle, because the handle is obviously quite massive. I know that some people don't like that they hammered it. Um, I like it actually, because I feel like, you know, you don't have to really worry about getting any scratches or marks, because that's supposed to be the look anyway. 
I like the sardine. I'm just gonna get the teen jolly again just to compare it. Um, the color I would consider this one in is like a green, either this dark green color, which I think is phenomenal, or uh, this rain tree color. However, they don't have either <laughs> of these colors uh, in Harrods, unfortunately. Yeah. Nonetheless, please let me know. Sardine or teen jolly? Sardine or teen jolly? What would you do? Okay guys, again, here we are with the Teen Jody in the leather though. I really prefer the look of the suede because it folds nicer, you know? I think with the leather one, you're gonna need more time to actually break the bag in. But here, now you can see the comparison between the um, Mini Jody, yeah, Mini Jody, <laughs> obviously, and the Teen Jody. I think this is a great size for every day. But the sardine bag is more me, right? The sardine bag is more special with a special handle. No, I'm a sucker for special gold handles. <laughs> I'm still really mesmerized by this color as well. Um, they have this one in the teeny tiny little candy Jody as well. That's the same size Jody as mine. Um, almost looks black as well, right? Depending on the light, but then if you look closely, it's so pretty. This is such a beautiful color as well. Oh. I like it. So here we are Which with a suede um, tee. So basically this one in like the grey, it's like this beautiful grey colour in the suede, exactly. Wow. And, and sardine dark green. And the sardine in like the dark green. really beautiful okay. colour. Just <laughs> when you see it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, so let's have a quick look at this one as well. That's the only suede teen jody that I currently have. But I'm so much in love with the suede because it folds so nicely. You know, for your leather teen jody to look like this and fold like this, you need to break it in for such a long time. So um, this is a mesmerizing color as well. I think it looks a little bit darker on screen than it is in reality. It's a bit more turquoise. Um, however, this one actually has a golden as a purple. I love that. Mine has like a silver as a purple. Oh, it just falls so nicely. Um, I, I still don't know what to do. I mean, they're trying to get both bags in and then I'm gonna make a decision, but do I want the sardine? Do I want the DJ? Do I want both? Again, you can wear it on your shoulder. I mean, this is stuffed now. I think if you don't have so much in your bag, it folds nicer and it can sit even better on your shoulder. Plus, I mean, I'm wearing like a really thick sweater today. Um, but yeah. God, guys, they were so lovely. They are always, always so lovely. Um, at Bottega Veneta, I, yeah. <laughs> such nice sales associates um they're trying to get my bags again let me know sardine team sardine team <laughs> just walk past balma usually i never look at anything at balma but <gasps> look at this dress with a snake that is so me i love it this bag is a statement piece too and a tiny little bit of chanel eye candy um look at these sling bags with all the little crystals really really cool nice treat what can we can we sneak in anything can we see anything so also guys these pieces are really nice there we have a caramel chanel 22 teeny tiny little chanel bag and paris hilton was actually wearing this one in tweet um for the los angeles chanel show um and this is relatively new as well the hardware doesn't look as expensive anymore as it did in the past and a tiny little bit more of chanel nice this dior um window display <laughs> so here we have the book toad again um but i really love that elephant and this is another new style for the book toad very jungly nice colors I love greens and purples. And there we have a little, is that a tiger? <laughs> and guys, after Valentino came out with the brightest hot pink you can imagine, now Dior is doing the same. That is just too cool and not to show you this peacock there. I love colors. I want to integrate a lot of colors into our new house, actually into my new dressing room. So yeah, feeling inspired by this. And a little bit of Gucci, but guys, I came in because of this. <gasps> Look at these dresses. 
absolutely stunning and I love the shimmer of all of this. Hi, I just came and I saw this. I was like, wow, <laughs> it's so gorgeous. <laughs> and look at all these teeny tiny little cute bags. Oops, I really like this one. Shall we try it on? And besides this beautiful dress, I mean, let me show you the front of the dress as well. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Wow. Uh, besides that, <laughs> I really love Gucci furniture as well. I could see myself sitting on this chair in our new house. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go for maximalism, I think. Um, yeah, guys, here we are with this teeny tiny little bag and I love it. It is so cute and like from afar it looks like a regular like mini Jackie, right? But then if you come close and you see it in the light and you can see all oh, the sparkles. Oh, classic Gucci monogram with the touch of extra. <laughs> so I don't know what I wear it as a shoulder bag or rather it's a teeny tiny little handheld bag. Do we like it? Okay guys, so cheers to a very successful day. There might be a surprise next week. <laughs> I, yeah, I really enjoyed this day. Uh, let me know if anything caught your eye. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join our little handbag obsessed family here because we all do have the same luxury disease and Harris is feeding my disease. <laughs> okay guys, I see you again very, very soon. Bye.